Okay, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make earrings that match this bracelet that I made. It looks really small because I have smaller wrists I made for myself. Going to go with my dress. Okay, but earrings, the supplies that you're going to need to make these earrings are two head pins. Head pins are um, these long needle-like things, but they're not pointy at the end. They're flattish. And then on this end, they have, they're like flat and they keep the bead from falling off. Um, these are head pins, which are very similar except they're round on the end so that you can hang things or connect them to other things. But we're going to use head pins. And you're also going to need six or four, whatever your opinion is, you can actually also use eight. Three for each earring. And they're just these little metal ish beads. They have holes. From there, from there, so they can go through. And then also, six or however many of these beads you have, you need the same amount of seed beads. You can use small ones, jumbo ones, or these ones are like right in between. I felt that they fit in the middle the best, so those are the ones I'm going to use. Okay. You're also going to need pliers, and I use these ones because they have the wire cutters on them, and you're also going to need those if, they don't, if your pliers don't have those on them. And you need the ones with needle nose. You don't need, you don't want the flat ones because then you need you're gonna need to turn the wire. Oh, and the last pile you're gonna need are two earrings. Of course. Okay. So now let's get started. They're really simple. These are some of the simplest kind you can make. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna string it through this one end, and I'm not gonna go all the way through. I'm just gonna stick it like that. Grab one bead to go in the center, pull it back up, and go through the other side. See, some people might think it's too spacey in there. You can add another bead in there if you want. And I'm just going to do the same thing for however many number you want on each earring. I think three looks good, because otherwise it'll be too long, and I have a short neck, so I don't want to look too weird. Okay. After you've got them all on, what you're going to do is you're going to bend this over. So it's like that. It doesn't have to be all the way. It can just be at a 90 degree angle if you like. And you're going to cut off the excess so there's about maybe 2 centimeters left. I'm not exactly sure. Don't take my word for it if I'm wrong. Okay. And then you're just going to get this and twist it up. Make sure you use my make it round, otherwise it'll look bad. And then you're just going to twist it and make sure it's flat. And then to connect it, you're going to either open this part, or this part, I'm going to open up this one to show you guys. Just going to stick the needle nose in there, and then pull it open just a little bit, don't do too much, because then it'll weaken it and it might break off. And you're going to slide that on, and then close it back up. And that's how you make it. Thanks for watching.